Welcome back to the Biff Mini Bytes video series where we take five minutes to discuss each of the most important CFP topics. I'm Mike Long from the Boston Institute of Finance. In this Mini Byte, we will cover an important feature of a homeowner's insurance policy, that being the coinsurance clause. Basically, the coinsurance clause requires that the dwelling coverage be maintained at a certain minimum percentage of the home's replacement cost in order for a partial loss on the dwelling to be covered in full. So let's take a look at how this works. There's actually a formula, a little calculation for the coinsurance clause application in which the current policy insurance limit stated in the policy is the numerator in a fraction and the denominator is that policy stated required percentage of the replacement cost. I call that the did have over the should have amounts. This is something you can remember for the uh, national exam, did have over should have. That amount is then multiplied by the loss that's been incurred and then the deductible is subtracted. Now this is different than what we're used to say in a health insurance policy where we take the deductible off the top in the homeowner's insurance policy, that comes off of the back end. All right, so we have to be given some facts in a question like this for the exam. So we might see something like a, a home value of $600,000 market value, and the replacement value is 500,000. That's a very important number to look for because that's going into our uh, application of the clause. The stated percentage is 80%, and that's probably what you'll see on any kind of problem, but just pay attention, make sure it's not something different. Here's another important number, that policy limit. That's the did have amount, $300,000, and the deductible is $1,000. So here's the exam question then. If the home sustains $100,000 in damage due to a fire, how much will the insurance pay? And we wanna pay attention here in the question, are they asking how much will the insurance pay or how much will the client have to pay? So read carefully as always. So we just start dropping in the numbers. There's our did have number of 300,000. There's our required 80% of a half a million dollar replacement value. That's multiplied by the loss and then the deductible is subtracted. So we have 300,000 over 400,000. So right there we see this is not properly insured for the coinsurance clause. It's too short. We have 300,000, we need 400,000 multiplied then by the loss and the deductibles subtracted out. So we have 75% of 100,000 minus $1,000. So for this claim, it will not be covered in full. The insurance will pay $74,000. That's that 75% of 100,000 minus the 1,000, 74,000. So a question might have, might have you do the math. A question might ask what advice would you give this client based on these facts? And we could see here that at a minimum, at a minimum, we would want the client to carry that 80% of $500,000. That would be our minimum advice. But there's an important, important point to note here at the bottom. The insurance is never going to pay more than the policy limit, right? So our best advice to the client would be to maintain coverage limit of the full replacement value, 500000 That way, in the event of a total loss, it would have $500,000 of coverage. If we only had the 400000 required by the coinsurance, application we in a total loss we wouldn't have full coverage would we so uh, two or three different kinds of questions could come from this a particular feature of the homeowners insurance policy so thanks for listening uh, the full mini bite video series and many other great study resources including our biff bites podcast can be found at biffbites.com we hope you enjoy them study on my friends